just makes you think about death, you know? Like, Grandpa was old, we expected it, but it just... Doesn't it just make you think about your own mortality? Babe, I need to get in there. Yeah, just one second. Okay, we have to be at the church and like... Yeah, just one second. Okay, I'm about to bust down this... Go ahead. Thank you. I don't get why you're so obsessed. I was flossing. You know I don't care, right? I think the bald thing is cute. You really pull it off, it's a good look. What did you say? What? What did you say? I said the bald thing. Bald? Is good? Yeah. That's weird because I have all of this hair on all sides of my head. All sides? So by definition, I'm not bald. Babe, we're running late to a funeral. Can this wait? No. I said it was cute. It's not cute. It would be cute if I was bald, but I'm not bald, so it's not even like a thing in the first place. No, -uh. I'm not doing this thing where your weird insecurities take over our lives. Get dressed. I have full, robust hair on the sides and the back of my I'm head. I'm calling an Uber. Look at it. Wh what is happening to you? Look at it. How could I be bald if I have all this hair? It's not about the amount of hair. It's about the whole gestalt. Gestalt? Holistically. Okay, you know how all dogs look different from one another? Sure. Like a chihuahua looks different from a Doberman. What do you There's like about? a wide spectrum of physical types of dog. But we all know a dog when we see one, right? Instinctually, even if it's not classically a dog. Yeah. Your head. No. It's a dog. No, 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 no. It's a, a wolf, maybe. Get dressed. No, 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 it's it's a fox. It's a hyena. It's why is this important? Because to you? I have hair. Famously, I have hair, and bald people are not, you know, well liked or respected. That, that's not true. It is. We're so mean to Moby. Hey, I love you, and other people will love you even though you're bald. You can ask them; they'll all tell you it doesn't matter. I don't care what your hair looks like, but right now. You're being a total dickhead. Can we go, please? Yes. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Let's go. You think you know so much? You think you're the arbiter? What are you doing? I'm taking it to the people. Oh, hi, sir. Do you have a moment? Am I bald? Like, looking at me, would you go, oh, that guy's bald. Sir, I'm so sorry. You don't have to. Uh, no, you're... You're going bald. Right, but at this moment, am I... Is this a religious thing? Okay, thank you, sir. Hi, sorry, uh, excuse me. Uh, am I bald? Oh, definitely. But I have all this hair. It's not about the hair. It's the whole gestalt of it. You're the gestalt, yes, thank you. Sir, is he bald? Sure. Excuse me, am I bald? No, you're not bald. Yeah, see, there's a whole, like, that, like that, um, it looks great. Ah, uh, buddy, am I bald? Not really. See? Ma'am, is he? Is this for, like, the internet or something? You're not bald. You have some hair? You're balding, like, it's a process. You're obviously balding. It's heading towards bald. Yeah, bald, but you look good, though. I disagree. Oh, yeah? I don't like the look. Come on. Yeah, you're a bald guy. Bald, sorry. Bald. Yeah, bald. Definitely bald. Uh, excuse me, uh, sir. Uh, am I? Uh, no, no, not bald. Thank you. But it approaches with haste. It will come for you by night. Cares not for your pride, nor your vanity, nor your over-the-counter remedies. All notions of who you are or who you might be will be subsumed beneath its heaving girth. Okay. Don't question it. Accept your new position in the hierarchy. We live in a top-down society, and when the top is barren, nothing trickles down. <laughs> and you, hasten your exit and save yourself the embarrassment. Pity for the sad Hairless man will urge you to stay, but as the fibers atop the scalp wilt away, so too does the flame of arousal. What? No. 
you will hang on admirably, but will ultimately acknowledge that your needs are not being met and you will go elsewhere. And though the departure will pain the insignificant shard of a heart left within your arid, barren chest cavity, you will know in the truest part of yourself that this is what you deserve. That to force the empty destitution of your paltry scalp upon another is nothing but a sort of abuse. And you will accept your solitude as penance for your sins, which must, you assure yourself, exceed those of the pure suit, for that is the only true explanation. You will settle into a job as an IRS accountant, middle school principal manager of a macaroni grill. Not that it will matter for soon. Sooner than you think, you will follow your hair into the earth. Extinguished, flaccid, irrelevant. Who are you? I am the future, compadre. Welcome. Oh, that was... I think we should break up. <laughs>